Welcome to Salama's video tutorial on SolarTube in Climate Studio. All of Climate Studio's daylighting workflows support the incorporation of SolarTube Tubular Daylighting Devices, or TDDs. TDDs absorb sunlight from rooftop collectors and transfer it into a reflective tube that leads to a diffuser on the ceiling. This promotes even distribution of daylighting in interior spaces by offering daylight in any room of a building, even windowless ones. To add a TDD to your model, select a daylighting workflow. I'll choose point in time illuminance. Start in the location input and follow the list of input parameters down until they are all filled out appropriately. Let's skip ahead to the TDD input. Click on the add tubular daylighting device button and a dialog box will appear. Here you can select a TDD and the information to the right of the image will update accordingly. You can leave the tube length and or loss factor as the default values, or you can use custom values by deselecting the checkbox next to auto. Setting the tube length at this stage will only affect the initial height of the TDD block placed in the model and will not matter if you want to manually reposition the collector or diffuser. Click on the SolarTube product guide to explore the full extent of SolarTube's available daylighting devices. Let's head back to Rhino and click Add to Model. The TDD will be added as a block to the model origin. You can position the block where you want, but it should not be scaled. Let's click Got It and take a deeper look. Click the block once to reposition the TDD. Drag the entire block to position the diffuser just below the ceiling. I'll then double click the block to manually reposition and rotate the collector to lie just above the roof. Then press OK. I'll repeat this process four times in order to create two sets of TDDs in two of the interior rooms of the office model. Now I can press start on my point in time illuminance simulation. I'll let the simulation run for the full amount of passes so that we can see the full extent of how the TDDs work. As you can see, the interior rooms with the TDDs have a significant amount of light now, much more than the interior room with no TDs on the far left. Thank you for watching and happy simulations!